Quant, better known as QNT, is an Ethereum token that is used to power Quant's networks over ledger brand of enterprise software solutions, which aims to connect public blockchains and private networks together. Quant Network allows the creation of so-called MDAPs that enable decentralized applications to operate on multiple blockchains at once. My name is Rico Richardson, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. With the advances in distributed ledger technologies, we see a shift in the way people and companies interact and connect with each other. Quant is leading in this field. They are developers of the Overledger DLT gateway. This is the world's first DLT gateway for companies that delivers them interoperability across different networks, DLTs and systems. Now, DLT stands for Distributed Ledger Technologies. This refers to the technological infrastructure and protocols that allow simultaneous access, validation and updates of records across networks that spread amongst several or multiple entities or locations. DLT was introduced by Bitcoin and is all about a decentralized world versus a centralized world. DLT interoperability focuses on the interaction of assets and information between different chain systems. Distributed ledger technology is a protocol that enables the secure functioning of a decentralized digital database. Distributed networks eliminate the need for a central authority to keep a check against manipulation. The information is being stored by using cryptography and this information can be accessed by using cryptographic signatures and so-called keys. The core of a DLT is that they are immune to cyber attacks because all copies are stored across the network and need to be attacked at the same time before it will be successful. Also, the peer-to-peer -peer connections makes everything go a lot faster. Quant technology has been founded by Gilbert Verdian, who worked for the UK government and Department of Health in Australia while realizing the full potential of DLTs. He basically went against the market because everybody thought that a single DLT or blockchain would be the solution while his vision was that the market will continue to fragment. Being on the front line of interoperability, he was at the forefront of establishing the blockchain ISO standard TC307, which is the international effort of 57 countries and organizations that work together to standardize the technology. The other two founders are Colin Patterson and Paola Tesca, who are no longer with the company. Quant's technology delivers enterprise-grade interoperability for the secure exchange of information and digital assets across any network platform or protocol at scale and with no extra overhead. Quant's Overledger, the first DLT gateway, complements and connects existing systems and DLTs to drive innovative and efficient growth for companies, public entities and regulatory bodies alike. They also hold patents and have several pending ones as well. Quant was first announced in 2018 and funded through an ICO in which 11 million was raised out of 36.9 million hard cap. So why would people or entities use the QNT overledgers? For three main reasons. The first one is universal interoperability, providing a secure, simple and cost-effective API connection to all DLTs. The second is enterprise orientated. They claim to be fully compliant with regulatory rules and guidelines and to provide the highest levels required by organizations and governments. And finally, being fit for the future due to being fully aligned with current and emerging ISO standards. Quan has made a video on the product and let's listen to Martin Hargraves, their CPO, explaining how he sees the technology being used in the mid-market. So what's different about Quan? We deliver universal interoperability currently enabling the simple, secure, and cost-effective connection of all major DLTs. Overledger's highly modular framework provides a roadmap for universal interoperability through the continuous addition of more DLT and API connectors. All connectors are based on a single standards-aligned API, and most DLT actions are available simply through the selection of the DLT type, with no other changes needed. Overledger also supports functionality that's unique to specific DLTs, using the same API and standards-aligned messaging format. We're enterprise-oriented, developed by a team highly experienced in enterprise security and nationally critical systems. Overledger is fully compliant with the highest levels of regulation, providing the levels of security and resilience required by international organizations and governments. Built around the needs of large enterprises, Overledger is extremely easy to install through simple integration with existing technology stacks and processes, and it's designed to integrate easily into any IT operation, however large and complex. 
The Overledger platform incorporates a multi-layer model to help support secure dApps and communication across multiple blockchains. In short, there are four topics. Number one, the transaction layer, used for storing transactions and achieving consensus across multiple DLTs. Secondly, the messaging layer, used for processing information from connected ledgers such as transactions, smart contracts and metadata information. And then thirdly, the filtering and ordering layer, filters and orders messages from the messaging layer and orders out of chain messages into verification blocks. And the final one, number four, is the application layer, used to isolate maps and help applications to communicate with one another via the messaging and filtering and ordering layers. Now, Quant also has its own utility token called QNT. It's designed to have several functions within the Quant ecosystem. Beginning with the fact that companies and developers that want to use the Overledger technology platform need to purchase a license. The money goes into the Quant treasury in fiat and is then used to buy the QNT token. The users also need this QNT token to pay an annual fee for running a gateway. Like tokens as BNB and SRM, the QNT token also gives you a cut in transaction fees. So that's another great benefit. So let's talk about the tokenomics. The max supply of QNT tokens is set at 14.6 million tokens. The QNT tokens were split in the following way. 9.9 .9 million QNT tokens were sold to the public during the ICO. 2.6 million tokens were assigned to the company reserve to keep the project running. 1.3 million QNT tokens were reserved for the company founders and 651,000 QNT tokens were issued to the company advisors. And currently the circulation supply of the token is about 12 million QNT and the extra 2 million tokens are held by the company. These tokens are unlocked and could be sold or issued at any time. So if you're looking to buy the QNT token, you can do so on several exchanges like Coinbase, Qcoin and Binance. QNT can be traded against cryptocurrencies such as BTC and Ether, stablecoins such as Tether, USDT, and fiat currencies such as the Euro. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView shows that since reaching a low of $178 on September 1st, the price of QNT has surged 117% to a new all-time high of $387 on September 6th, as its 24-hour trading volume spiked to a record 740 million. In the last few months, QNT was added to Coinbase and Binance, which helped its 24-hour trading volume jump from a daily average of 9 million to over 740 million on September 6th. Three main reasons are being mentioned for this rally. The first one is its protocol upgrade to Overledger 2.0.5, the launch of the Quant developer program and increased access to its supply after being listed on the largest crypto exchanges. And Overledger 2.0.5 is released to bridge ecosystems with stablecoins, DeFi, NFTs, and popular ERC-20 and ERC-721 digital assets for clearing and settlement. And a new payment API sells between different digital asset types with a few lines of code. So is QNT something you're looking to invest in or did you invest in other tokens? If so, let us know in the comments which ones. That's it for this week. My name is Rico Richardson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!